I can head over to the Winter Kingdom. Wish me luck, Leo. I hope I don't take um, offense to this like they did with Avis because um, I don't, I don't really know who Avis talked to. Really, I would send a messenger beforehand. I would send a message, but yeah, I, I don't know who to send the message to. So I think. I'll show up, explain myself a little bit, clear things up for Avis because I do not want to cause any more issues for Rain. I know she wants to get like close with the Winter Kingdom, possibly set up an alliance. I know, I'm not sure how she is with that though. I don't know what step she's taken. So I, I don't want this to be a, a very major roadblock. I don't think it will be once I go and explain everything but yeah i just i just don't want to cause more issues for rain she's already stressed enough as it is whose horse are you i never know i also have some fish maybe it's a sign of friendship question mark i i don't i don't really know i can't really give them sweets because they can only eat fish. I know it's very tragic. Um, I keep forgetting that's not a mailbox. <laughs> um, okay. You're a royal, Estelle. You're a royal. You're, you'll be fine. You'll go. You'll, maybe you'll see Era. Yes, advisor Era. You'll go see her. Because so, even if Era wasn't there, somebody probably told her that what happened if it was like that big of an issue so um let's head on over oh, oh wow hmm, I, don't, I don't see anyone hello Hello? Is anyone... Is anyone around? Is anyone in the castle? I don't want to go in the castle if I'm, if I'm not invited. Maybe I'll check around the village. Maybe, maybe Bryn's here. Oh, are those? I swear that man gets in the craziest of places. Whoa, but their village certainly seems to be coming along. Oh, I hear a cat. A lot more. Oh, it is a lot more bigger. Hmm. Bless you. Okay, it was Brynn's bakery over here. Hello? Brynn, are you here? Bryn, hello! Okay, either Bryn's sleeping or without doing something. Oh! Mm. What was that? Ah! That's, uh. that's not Princess Brain. <laughs> um. <clears throat> uh, hello there. I don't think I've met you before. Hello. Um. um. You're on a polar bear, so you must be a winter person. Yes, this is my polar bear. Um, my name is Prince Solstice. And oh. you might be. Oh yes. Um, I am. Uh, I am. Uh, Estelle, heiress of the Cloud Kingdom. 
Estelle. That's a very pretty name. Oh, thank you. Um, my mother named me that. Well, I should hope so. Um, <laughs> what what brings you by to the Winter Kingdom? Oh yes. Um, I'm sorry for not sending a message mm. in advance. Um, I I honestly didn't know who I was meeting mm. with because I heard that one of um, my kingdom's subjects has gotten into a little bit of trouble here. Mm. Ah, mm. would that be Avis? <laughs> yes. You see, um. Avis is very friendly, and he tries to make friends in every kingdom. And from what he told me, he said uh, he he made friends with a guard here. I believe their name yes. was Catsy. Yes. And apparently Catsy gave him permission to leave a gift. And Avis told me that he was trying to be polite and not disrupt anyone, so he was sneaking around. And I was and I figured that might cause some suspicion, so I just thought I would. Come yeah. over and apologize to the people that were oh, scared it, by it's, him. It, it's no problem at all. You you have nothing really to apologize for. We have no bad blood with your kingdom, with your people. Um, we we just like fair warning when people are around our castle. Um, myself and Shalira, the advisor, um, were talking and we heard footsteps in and around the castle <laughs> and... Um, we thought we were being spied on by someone. Um, so we caught Avis flying down from the roof mm. at the top of the castle. And we, we, we did scold them a little bit. Um, and I, I must apologize if my attitude offended Avis. Um, oh, no. However, it is winter lore that someone mm. must let us know when <laughs> coming over. Yes, that that's understandable, and I just I just didn't know how Avis handled it, so I thought I would come over myself and let you know that Avis was there very was... very apologetic about it, and we've had the same discussion with Katsy. Um, Katsy was away on night training at the time, um, so she didn't really get a chance to tell us that mm -hmm. uh, she had a friend coming over, and we would have made a lot more preparations and accommodation for. For her. For him, sorry. Okay, well, that's a relief. I can rest a lot more easily now that I know that's been taken care of and there's no misunderstandings. Yes, uh, it, it did It did shock me quite a while. Uh, for, for, it did shock me quite a bit, um, considering the only uh, time I've ever met a Seraph is... Um, is when I came back from the end and I met uh, really? Princess Rain and the advisor. Oh. You, you so mm. you, I'm sorry, but to be honest, I find it hard to believe that mm. you were trapped in the end for so long. Excuse mm. me? Was it, was it really just like 10 days? Mm. Yeah. Um, we had no track of time mm. in the end. It's, there's no sun, there's no moon. There's just emptiness and, and oh, yes. void. I actually so. went exploring the end a little bit with Ira, so I saw where you oh, lived. You, it you, was... you know where our advisor? Oh yes, I do. She's quite lovely. I even have her telepaths. She even made me armor. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Crystallite armor. Would you like to see? Uh, yes. Okay, let me take my the armor off. Oh wow, ah. wow. That is very that mm. hang on. That puts my arm up. That's a shame. <gasps> oh mm. my gosh. You actually mm. have netherite armor? Yes. Mm. <laughs> it, it, I like doing that in front of new people, just showing off my armor because it's very unobtainable since mm. High Lady Morgan has closed off her her borders. Yes. Wait, um, you were you were around before the borders were closed, correct? Yes. Is there a place like nearby that we could go to that's more secluded? Because I would like to ask a question. Yeah, of, of, of course, we can go to my glacier if you want. Oh yes, yes, that'll be that'll be great. Right, I'll. I'll I like your cow plushie, by the way. 
Oh, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. our, our uh, messenger Bryn made it. <laughs> I was I getting a bit on jealous expedition. that um, everyone else had a plushie on their head, but I didn't. <laughs> well, they're very, they are very cute. Please oh, excuse is... the floating tree. I tried to get rid of it this morning, but because uh, of the size of the tree, I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Probably stray logs. I can go in there and get them down for you later. Yes, uh, if you could. I I wouldn't I I wouldn't want to uh, be a bother to ask that, but oh, no. it, I I'd would be, be happy to. Very grateful. Um, please come on in. Uh, so, are you gonna, living out of this glacier? I, I am just gonna, you know, share it to night, uh, day. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. There we are. There we are. Are you are you living in this glacier out of free will, or they have has the princess put you here? Well, Princess Loralia has offered me a room in the castle, um, and my former guard Max as well. Um, however, I don't feel comfortable living in a castle again. I am over two thousand years old, apparently. So, um, I I used to live in a castle when I I was an elven prince, um, and it just brings back so many memories that. I don't want to have to get into again. So I find it just comforting being in my own little, my own little corner of the Winter Kingdom. Wow, I'm learning so much about you. I didn't know that you were an Elven Prince. Yeah. Oh, please take a seat. Please take, oh, take a seat. Okay. Don't, hello, don't hello there, cat. Don't I'll sit here. Um, I'm just gonna see if I have something to offer you, because I don't oh. want to feel like a rude house guest. Uh, what do I have? What do I have? Um, have this gold. Oh, thank you. Um, I actually there, brought there. fish, some fish over. Oh, you did? Uh, yes, yeah, seraphs are vegetarian, so we don't really have a use for the fish that we catch. So I like to bring them over, like, any time that I visit the Winter Kingdom. Oh my god, you even brought salmon. Thank you so much. Um, You're welcome. Honestly, I'm still not used to the all fish diet, considering I was an elf and could eat mm -hmm. practically everything. So. Yes, but it must have been hard to get a hold of meat since elves can't harm uh, passive creatures. Yeah, we had to we had to go the long way around it, and it, I felt so awful doing it. Mm -hmm. It was not a nice. It was not a nice experience to do. So, yeah, I get that. But I wanted to ask you something that is kind of well. I'm not really sure how to put it, but um, you've been to the Nether before, have you? I have not. I have oh. not been to the Nether. Um. Even when I was an I was an elf and I could go into the Never, I I didn't. It wasn't an exactly a safe place to be with mm -hmm. all the lava and the potential chance of death. Um, so um, we as a royal family decided to stay away. Um, however, we did have an amazing connection with the king of the Never. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lady Morrigan's great, great grandfather. Uh huh. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Um, uh, hello. Um. Well, um, there's. Here's the thing. I've never been to the Nether either. Um, even when their borders were open, because my mother and my do and the doctors thought I would die. But, um, I have a question about them, because I I pretty much know nothing about them and the only time i've seen them is when they came to our kingdom because apparently the stronghold to the um end was close to the cloud kingdom yeah i and... i don't like high lady morrigan oh really? i i do not like her one little bit how so they want the never right back from myself and max that we got okay. as a gift from his Royal Highness, uh, the King of the Never. 
Well, um, I'm sure once you explain that it was a gift given in goodwill. Oh, she knows that. She knows they that. They do. She oh. she knows that, and she wants it back. Um, however, it, it, I'm gonna sound really old. Back in my day, we all loved the Navarians. The Navarians were lovely people. Um, there was a lot of talk that they were bad people because they live in in the hell biome, but they they were really nice they were they they gave us gifts all the time we give them gifts from the overworld um they we had parties with them um obviously in the overworld of course um because back then the winters didn't exist hmm so so you have seen them like you've come in contact with them the new nevers or the old nevers the netherin people Again, the new ones or the old ones? Both. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, mainly the old ones, because I would I would like to ask if the if it's commonality among the Netherians to have wings that are somewhat similar to mine. Do you mean so, like serif wings? Yeah, like feathered, lightly colored, or, or different colors, but Mainly, you know, feathered wings. Because oh. I saw the Princess Morgan had wings, and I figured maybe the royalty has wings. But then there was another person that had wings that looked oddly similar, oh, and I was just wondering Fang. if that was... That was their name? Yes, I, I think I overheard Loralia and Era talking. Um, yes, his name's Fang. Um, the Navarians that I know don't have white feathered wings or colored feathered wings like yours they if any if any of them have wings which is not very common i don't think amongst the navarians um to have wings um it, it's usually bat like bat like um scary wings not pretty angel fluffy wings <laughs> Oh, um, so it's trust like... me, they look, they look good now, but they don't, they won't after I fly for a bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I could imagine it gets, it probably gets a lot, a bit tiring flying. <laughs> it, it does a little bit. But um, it's a unique skill. <laughs> it is a unique skill. Um, but, but yeah, that um, just... Hi Lady Morrigan, I don't think can fly like you. Like you can, I think she glides. And I think she just wears them to project that she's this tall and mighty person when she's really not. I can see the cracks in her reign. Oh. Wow. I've never met her, so I'm not sure what she's she'd be She's not that like. nice. I'll take, the, I'll take your opinions into consideration, but I feel like I should meet her myself and also draw opinions. Because of course, of course. people have made some opinions about you known to me. Oh, let well, me guess. Let me guess. Okay. Um, I've spoken to every kingdom. You, I've spoken to every kingdom minus the Seraphs. Um, and the word got out that I am this war-hungry, power-hungry, rude guy that doesn't like uh, women in charge. Um... <laughs> Is that what you've heard? <laughs> um, not the women in charge part, but uh, definitely that you're around and that you might be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pray tell, pray tell, pray tell. No. <laughs> I don't want the throne back right now, anyway. I don't, hmm. I'm not going to be an issue. I have this little corner of the Wind Kingdom. I'm living in my best life because I don't die um but yeah I'm I'm not a problem Every, people with these assumptions about me when they meet me properly and not after I've just spent days in the end seeing my sister die and um my friends die you know and coming back into the other world and everything's changed that's what they see what and then I meet them, and they're like, "Oh, Solstice is a is a cool guy, you know." 
pun intended. <laughs> yes, well, but um, I will admit I... though, it is a little kind of jarring to see the founder of the Winter Kingdom just hold up in a little igloo. I always lived in an igloo, even oh. when I was the king of the Winter Kingdom. I never had a castle. Oh, really? Yes, the igloo was much bigger than a regular size igloo, because obviously you needed to separate the royals, like, oops, not as in separate from the people, because I was always with the one with my people, but you, like, you need to separate where they are, like, geographically wise. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? I understand, trust me. I'm a royal too, so. <laughs> yes. Um, I did, however, um, I have heard about you. Oh, really? Um, I had Bryn and Fio- This snow golem is getting on oh. my nerves. Ignore that. Um, they, they're not sentinel. Um, uh, can I had- Another little thing about seraphs is that we deeply value lives. I'll, I'll let it. I'll let it slide. It's fine. Snow golems don't have lives. They are literally snow with a pumpkin on their head. Okay. Okay. It's just they were moving around, so. They. They. They don't. They don't feel pain. Don't. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. They don't have feelings. They don't have a. That. This sounds really bad. This is a really bad <laughs> first impression. But they. They're not. It's, it's okay. You're fine. You're fine. I mean, they I, are I... not living things. <laughs> Okay, um, I'll take your word for it. But yeah, I had um, Bryn and Theo Griffiths come over. Um, and they mentioned that your sister had sadly died. And yes, unfortunately that is true. I, I don't know what happened as obviously this is the first time officially meeting someone from the cloud kingdom but i did want to offer a hand in um just saying if there's anyone if there's anything i can do or any advice or someone you want to talk to my door is always open i myself have lost my sister and i understand how hard it is Yes, I, I appreciate that. Um, I might offer you. Uh, I might take it, take you up, sometime. Honestly, um, I don't. Honestly, I think Rain's taking it harder. She keeps talking about trying to bring Galaxy back or whatever, and I don't think that's ever been done. I don't even know how you would do that. I heard you that she need a actually scythe. a scythe. Yeah, you'd need to battle the Grim Reaper and gain a scythe. So, th- so that's actually possible. I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I I understand that the scythe is a very powerful tool. Era Bryn and High Lady Morgan have one, I think. <laughs> well, that is definitely worth the discussion with Rain. I believe she's already been in contact with our princess and um, oh, the advisor. Oh yes, she she didn't um she didn't say anything um like crazy while she was here, right? I don't know if you were there. I wasn't invited to the meeting. Uh huh. Yeah, well, Even I, I would have come along, the... but I wasn't invited. Yeah. Along. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I probably should have. I would have happily come along. Um. Though Loralia is very open about not wanting me to have any power anymore, despite me fang- founding the entire kingdom and <laughs> building up this village and this kingdom that she now rules over. Exactly. I'd say you still have plenty of power even without the royal thing. Exactly. That's because the, I... you founded this kingdom. If my memory serves me correctly, which means that you're not. Well, how should I put this? You're not for show, should I say? 
like you can actually like running a kingdom is difficult but i can't even imagine what it would be like to found one and keep it running well i had help from my sister and i had help from the elven elf elven people because some of them left with me some of them stayed and then bit by bit people from all over the world were coming to stay in the winter kingdom yes i think that's a great feat it helps when you had have already a high standing power of one kingdom so people will respect you Mm, high standing doesn't necessarily guarantee that you have what it takes to Oh, oh no, not... Oh, or, yeah, absolutely. But it helps. One. It does help. It does help. help, but only if you know how to use it. Exactly. I was very fortunate to be successful in it. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for answering my questions. You've been very helpful. Oh, it's no problem. satisfying my curiosity. Well, you know us winters, we're all about our knowledge. <laughs> Indeed. Something I can't take credit for. <laughs> it was my advisor at the time. <laughs> um, would you like to go for a walk? I've been stuck in this igloo for a while now. Of course. And as nice as the igloo is to be, like, away, I don't want to be away away. Okay. It'd be nice to go for a walk. I don't usually walk. Oh yeah, you, I can't fly. I, I, I can only, I can only jump. <laughs> you can, you, you have slow falling. That's, that's. Yes, the <laughs> seraphs are very light. I am interested in that armor of yours, the crystallite armor. I know Era has it. Yes, well, she's to... the one who made it for me, so hmm. should probably ask her. But this was actually stuff that was found in the end. No, yes, the end. So it's not illegal for you to have it. I don't <laughs> like believe it is, so. Like it is for me. Mm -hmm. That must have been very jarring to hear. Oh, follow me. Follow, follow oh, me. I, okay. I, I follow. I want to. I want to show you something. If we're okay. talking about jarring, basically. Princess Loralia and High Lady Morgan have a peace treaty against me. Oh, really? Yeah, because I'm that much of a threat to them. Right, I think the book is in... Nope, that's, that's the Elven Laws. Aha! Oh, that's my sword. Take a look at that. They have a peace treaty against me. Mm -hmm. And this is public knowledge. Like, I can read this, correct? Oh, yes. Yes. Everyone is welcome in the library. Winter Kingdom and Nether, Nether Kingdom Neutrality Pact. A non-aggression pact or neutrality pact is a treaty between two or more kingdoms. And... Okay. Given the definition before. includes a promise to avoid support of any entity that acts against the interest of pack signatories signatories as well as not to attack any pack signatories this pact is not documentation of allyship huh there is no agreement for trading of goods armies or information any other requests from either mm. may i give my opi opinion may i speak freely Oh, uh, uh, do, do tell, do, do speak. In my opinion, this pact doesn't seem worth it for me. It kind of feels like the Nether Kingdom is scared. Because all of 100%. us already aren't attacking each other. So the fact that you want to go to one kingdom specifically and then say... Oh, we know you're not attacking us, but we want you to sign that you're not attacking us. But we don't give you anything, and you don't give us anything. It kind of it. It seems like a like part of my language, but a bum deal. Exactly. 
And I've signed many peace treaties in my lifetime. Obviously, I was the prince of two kingdoms. Well, the oh. king of this one. But, uh, oh. oh. Let me uh, give this back to you. Yeah, give, give me that back. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, I was the, uh, the prince of two kingdoms and the ruler of this one. So obviously, where did I get this book from? This one. So obviously, I've signed many treaties and many documents in my lifetime. And even with the Navarians in my lifetime as well. However, from what I understand, that one was only signed after I had returned with full Neverite plus Max's Neverite sword. I have a diamond sword because it's blue. Mm -hmm. Well, of course it was signed after your you came back. It mentions you. It has me, literally. Uh, let's, let's just wonder. I know Era's in the castle and I don't want to disturb Era. Um, but... Yet yeah, they are scared because I have Neverite and so does Max, and now we are now a tough, tougher kingdom than we were before. Mm-hmm. And Where should she we head wants off to back. next? Oh. oh. Oh, bye, Era. Oh, hi, <laughs> Era. Um. Oh, uh, have you been to our, our bakery? Oh, yes, I have. Bryn has given me some sweets there. I paid for them, of course. <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, oh, um, have you seen the memorial garden? Um, I think I might have. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's been updated since my return. It used to have a tombstone with my name on it, which was quite uh, disturbing to see. Almost definitely. Oh. Oh, it has it has been updated. Here lies Princess Roshin. May she rest in peace. Roshin is my sister. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um the Nive High Lady Morrigan wants my wants my armor back. And to that I say they'd have to rip it off of my cold dead body. May I speak freely once again? Oh, please, speak your mind. You don't have to ask around me. Just say whatever it is you're thinking. Oh, okay. Um, I honestly think you shouldn't give the armor back. And why is that? Because you said that the late king gave it to you as a symbol of good friendship. Of, of like, peace between your kingdoms. Friendship yeah. and trust. Yes. That was more than just a gift. And in my mind, you shouldn't take a gift away from someone. There's re now, a gift, that's one thing. But giving a whole gift back? Mm hmm Because now, with Princess Morgan wanting to take your armor back, it could be seen as her also taking back the... <laughs> the goodwill <laughs> between your kingdoms. And now, she has a neutrality pact with you, so you technically can't do anything about it either. I wouldn't well, be surprised only... if she proposed it, and then to get the armor back. Huh. Well, I... The well, then again, I don't to... know if that is what she did, but it's just... Well, I, I can't speak on her behalf, be. but she doesn't seem nice to me at all. I said the only way I'd give my armor back is if uh, she had, she'd give me Never Ruby or I, I think it's called Fire Knight. It is, what is it, it called? Is it better than Netherite, or is it like slightly worse? Oh yeah, it's 100% it's better than Netherite. Oh, oh, I didn't even know that. I thought Netherite was the best. So a lot of them have Cincinnite, which is worse than Netherite. Some of them have uh, Never Ruby, which is um, just one down from Netherite, and then not many people have Fire Ruby, or Eternium, which Eternium is better than 
netherite. Mm -hmm. Which I want. Gosh, there's so little I know about the nether. I don't know much about it either. I, I just know the people. Mm -hmm. And now, their people are gunning for you. Oh, yes. With their white fluffy wings. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's also a cause for concern that I probably should bring up to they the looked, green. They looked like one of you. I just have to say. Huh. Yes, well... I'm not sure what to do about that yet. Ultimately, it's Rain's decision what she wants to do with the information. Well, I haven't met Rain, so uh, officially met Rain, so I. Oh, don't my know cousin what is to... lovely. I definitely will not be giving my armor back now, as well, since you <laughs> have uh, spoken those wide word wise words to me. Well, I don't want to cause anything between the two kingdoms. I was just voicing my opinion, I guess you could say. Well, I shared your exact same opinion, so it's a matter of whether or not Morrigan wants to meet with me and discuss it. Mm hmm Yes, I suppose we are quite similar in those ways. If you want to come into my, my oh, uh, reading nook, I'll just, uh, <laughs> just yeah. go clean something a sec. It is a so. lovely view. I know, it's, it's, it's gorgeous, especially in the morning when everything's all, like, frosty and you can oh, see a indeed. breath. Yes, indeed. Um, the Winter Kingdom is very lovely. Thank you. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> um, <laughs> you picked a great spot. I did, I did. What was that noise? I don't really like the water, so I'll stay up here. There's a zombie down here. I'll protect. Oh. It's now a drown. Solstice? Solstice? You're not dead, are you? No. Oh my gosh, she's dead. You will be remembered. Uh, what should, what should I say? Oh, you're back. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Again? Yeah. Sorry, I'm frazzled. I'm frazzled. People have been dying left, right, and left all over the place for me lately. No. Galaxy died, then I thought Rain was dead before she came back and said I was 30 years old. <laughs> yeah. I I was going to smack her, but then she came. Like, I was going to smack her because she was, like, gone for eight days. But then she just came back and was like, you look great for a 30-year-old. And I'm like, oh. excuse me? She played the uh, the time skip card on you. Mm-hmm. Did, did, did people actually think there would be a time skip? Or, was, or could she just see the anger in my eyes and decide to play a time skip card? Well, how I put it is, and this is my next conversation with you, um, is that the dragon, the ender dragon, created a time paradox, I guess, and froze mm -hmm. time in the end. Um, so my me being there eight days was actually 1,000 years, and I think someone did the math really wrong because I think it only counted for when they were there when the dragon was alive. Oh, that would so, explain it. Yeah. So they counted for, they tried to do the math. So it's like the dragon's like still there and the time freeze is still there. So they thought it was like one minute is like 25 years or something. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious um, on how that dragon got there. That's my next conversation. So Rain probably um was like, oh wow, you're you're a thirty year old, so mm-hmm, because it's been so long. So you were like Princess Estelle. 
True, I was only Princess Estelle for eight days. But I bet you loved those eight days. Not really, I was practically the only one there. Besides oh. Theo, who came to check up on me. Ah, Theo, bring him back onto Theo. And Avis, who also gave I've me missed. news that his sister died. Oh, so a lot of death. A lot of death while I was there and alone, and the guards were off training, I guess. Yeah. It, it, it amazes me how much training these guards need. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I suppose they need to train quite a lot in order to protect their kingdom. Well, Max doesn't need that much training. Max is always here. Max is always protecting me, protecting Loralia, protecting the kingdom. I I don't think I've ever met Kansi. Oh, really? I've never met her. Huh. Then how did Avis meet her? I don't know. How could Age um, Avis... I don't know. Avis is Avis. He can make friends with anyone. I have no doubt in my mind that he'd even be able to make friends with a Blazeborn. A Netherin. Well, I'd hope they wouldn't. Um, but that's my opinion. But... Um, obviously Theo and Bryn were around the other day, um, uh, and we are recruiting for a sort of anti-hero, like, not gang, but crew type th thing. Uh-huh. So, in the end, have you visited the end library? I have. You read the book about the uh, mm -hmm. the the law keeper. Mm -hmm. We think they're dangerous, and oh, yeah. so we're starting um, a, a group of anti heroes to um, have, uh, to revolt against the tasks. Mm -hmm. Because well, you're doing as... a great job so far with looking at the princess points. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Everyone's on the same except Especially the Blazeborns. Especially the Netherians. I know, the Blazeborns are doing so well in their tasks. But, <laughs> um... The... We don't know what comes with these tasks other than complete power and dominantship over every kingdom and self-resurrection for only the ruling princess. Mm-hmm. So, what happens when we don't do a task? What if we all don't do a task? And then we also think the Law Keeper is who summoned the Ender Dragon. Who created the time freeze, killed my sister, killed my friends. Mm -hmm. I must say, though, um, I've heard of Seraphs, but I'm going back years now. I've heard of Ceres before, but I've never actually seen one. Oh, yes, well, we used to be quite reserved people. We mainly just stayed in the clouds, very rarely coming down to Earth. I believe some, and any time we did, uh, I believe we were called angels. And uh -huh, townsfolk would that. make <laughs> would make up these stories about us and... Yeah, we, we didn't. We only really opened ourselves up to the other kingdoms in the last 200 years, I believe. I could be wrong. But. Well, I, wa I wasn't here for 200 years. So. But yeah, I was wondering why I didn't see a seraph in the end. That's why I called your advisor an angel. <laughs> but now knowing <laughs> that's something I should not do. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, the stories of angels aren't bad. It's not like it's quite, it's, it's quite holy. It's 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 quite nice. It's quite flattering, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you look as gorgeous as an angel. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, but <laughs> oh my goodness! Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, but I believe that's why you didn't see any. But trust me, we were around. Hmm. Yeah, we're very loyal people, so... It's kind How's of our kingdom... 
than everything else. I must say, I am a very, also very loyal person. Yes. So it's and it's nice to know that there is other loyal people out there. Loyalty is very important to me. Yes, and again, I'm going to speak freely, whether you like it or not, um, about the lore <laughs> keeper. I personally also. <laughs> It. I <laughs> I'm glad you're freaking freaking talking freely, Estelle. I'm glad you're freaking freely. <laughs> yeah, so, oh wait, you can't eat cherries. I can't eat these. <laughs> Give, me cherries. Give me them back. They're mine now. Okay. Um. So, Laura Keeper. I personally believe that he's iffy too. I don't know anything about him, and all of a sudden. I don't even know if he is a he. And all of a sudden, they're promising all of these things. However, the way I see it, you have more to gain to believe what they're telling is the truth and participating in the tasks than you do from not believing them and not participating in the tasks. Because if they are telling the truth and you did the tasks, then you will be rewarded if you had the most tasks and if you don't and it was a lie then all that you're really saving is your pride but then again but also mm -hmm. everyone's given the same amount of points at the end of the week that's yes, why well, everyone is on 45 except for the blazeborns who i'm glad aren't doing well um they can suck it um but Everyone's given the same amount of points, so does this lawkeeper really have our best interests at heart if we're all the same? Well, how do you know the tasks won't get more difficult as time goes on? Well, our advisor, Shalira, has been doing all of the tasks because no one oh. knows how to do redstone, and all our tasks have been redstone related. One of our tasks was redstone related. And I didn't know how to do redstone either. And... I learnt. And so did Rain. Making two redstone farms was like... Making a redstone farm and another one was like the, ta the task and the bonus points. So I made the bonus points and she did the actual one. Mm. But not doing the tasks as a princess when you're the one who benefits from this it's kind of deceptive yeah i think i'm glad we're on the same page about this law keeper he seems dodgy and he does seem dodgy <sighs> but i don't have enough information about him to go against him but no in one my does. eyes no one does a style like us winters, we're very knowledgeable. Elves are very knowledgeable. I have no idea about the mermaids, blazeborns, or Ceres, but no one knows anything other than the book says rule them all. Mm hmm. I don't even know what that would entail. So, would you want to be a part of the anti heroes? I think I'm going to stick with the princess points and the i'll believe him for now if i know okay. anything i might jo join later okay but if it's real and rain can get this power i want it to be her right okay and plus the cloud kingdom isn't closed off anymore i'm sure rain would help any kingdom as much as she can And who knows how long this um, princess points go on for. Maybe it ends when I'm on the throne. Who knows? You want to be on the throne? I'm not sure. I don't really let myself think about it that much. Fair enough. Fair enough. I've got experience. So if you wanted any advice, let, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> The sun's coming up. Oh. We've been talking for a while. I guess we have. <laughs> so, 
So what's the uh, Cloud Kingdom like? It's very beautiful. We It's obviously on a cloud. We have a waterfall that you can use to get up to it. You should definitely come look around someday. Oh! That's... Is it gonna break again? <laughs> Packed ice doesn't go okay. to water. I would definitely love to visit. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get an Elytra and fly it myself. <laughs> Maybe an, honor maybe an honorary 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 uh, serif. serif. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well. Well, I don't want to join the anti-heroes. I wouldn't mind maybe if you're up for it. Getting a secret alliance sort of just between me and you. Oh. The way I see it, everyone is kind of out to get you. And they say it's because that you're like this dangerous person, but to me, it seems more like they like they're scared of what you can do potentially. Yeah. And I'm, I, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> The Seraphs are not in a great place right now. With Galaxy's death yeah. and rain kind of going all over the place. Don't get me wrong, I love my cousin. But I worry about her sometimes, and I just want to make sure that I can support her in any ways means. Understandable. If you don't ask so, me, uh, mind me asking, how did Galaxy die? Um... She was killed. That's all I really feel like saying at the moment. Don't say anything you're not comfortable with, Estelle. Thanks for understanding. But yeah. If you want to form maybe a secret alliance between us, you can let me know. I'm... I am open to join an alliance with you. Mm-hmm. I'll try to... I'll try to bring down any animosity towards you. Oh, did I just breathe? <laughs> no, I did. It was getting in the way. Oh, for a second Honestly, I thought the I just... leaves needed trimming. <laughs> for a second I thought, oh my goodness, my head can break leaves. <laughs> no need for axes. If that's the case, I am six foot two. This ice sculpture would be crushed down. <laughs> <laughs> But... Yes, I'm very happy to join an alliance with you. Mm-hmm. It sounds exciting. I've got the your only, back. You've the only clause is I don't want to start a war. I want to... Oh. I want peace. Okay. I can live with that. I don't want to start a war. War is not something I enjoy. Mm-hmm. Trust me, I've been, I've been there, done that, wrote the book. Hello, sir. If one oh. does start, I'll do my best to kind of... <sighs> help out in any way I can. Yeah, have this flower. <gasps> Thank you. Aw. Pink tulip. Yeah, here, you can have the cherry to remember me by. I, I, I can't eat these, but I'll, I know, I will you can, but you can frame it. <laughs> I will frame it. I will <laughs> frame the cherries. Yes, I will not be starting wars. Don't you worry, Estelle. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I hope that this works out. The stars on your dress are very beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you. Nobody notices my stars. I did. I noticed. Mm-hmm. But, but, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll, thank you. I'll be Estelle. going now. It was lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you, too. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Definitely not as scary as the rumors say. Then it can and could be an act. Either way, if he is good intentioned, then this alliance will be good. And if he's not good intentioned, then I can keep an eye on him. Huh. We 
Yeah, I should definitely, knowing what I know now, I definitely need to talk to Rain about that one Netherian. Fang, I believe their name was. As Solstice mentioned. Hmm. I know there are other Seraphs out there. I know they are. But I can't imagine why... Oh, I can't imagine why someone... Why a Seraph would want to live in the Nether. And if he is a Seraph, and he has light-colored wings... That could also be a problem. That's stuff I will discuss with Rain. <laughs>